Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today, starting off on this four hour time frame, because right now we can see that we got some massive volatility in the Bitcoin charts, which is quite unexpected, considering that we are trading in a weekend right now, where typically you see low volatility. So where did this sudden rise in volatility come from? Well, in the case that you haven't heard yet, which I think is unlikely by the time I actually edit and upload this video, but Joe Biden dropped out of the presidential election or whatever you want to call it. So obviously the market is going to react to this and basically reprice all kinds of different assets. And if you're wondering what my thoughts are on all of this, and if I think it is a good thing or a bad thing, I'm not going to share my opinion on it because on this YouTube channel, I only want to focus on the technical analysis for Bitcoin, as well as sometimes Ethereum and Solana. Anyway, so let's get into the technical analysis then, because what I can see in this chart is simply a bounce from this upward sloping line of support and also a bounce from this big level of support right here, which is sitting from about 66,000 US dollars all the way down to 65,000 US dollars. And actually, since we traded above this previous level of resistance, we had not had a successful retest yet. And now that we have seen this strong bounce from there, we can definitely say that this is now a level of support. Anyway, so what can we expect here in terms of momentum in the market? Well, I think it is a little bit too early to say how the market is going to react long term to this news with regards to the presidential elections. So I don't want to really make any assumptions about that. However, what you should be paying attention to in terms of the momentum is this upward sloping line of support, because so long as we do not break below this upward sloping line of support, that the momentum is going to be sideways and bullish. And of course, if we break this trend line, then potentially we could see much more bearish momentum coming soon after that. But yeah, at least for me personally, I will continue to be bullish on this lower time frame here, so long as we hold this as a level of support. And of course, on the higher time frames, like if you just zoom out far enough, obviously it is hard to be bearish with a chart like this, even though for some reason, a lot of people flipped extremely bearish at the exact lows right here. And of course, if you have been watching my videos over the last couple of weeks or so, at about 53,000 US dollars, I confirmed a bullish divergence flipping bullish. And of course, after that, we have now reached the top of this descending channel that I have been talking about for months at this point. And actually on this channel, in the case that you don't know, it helped us flip bullish right here, ride this move all the way to the upside and then help us flip bearish right here at $70,000, taking profits and opening up all kinds of short positions, shorting this move to the downside and flipping bullish once again at 53k and of course you know what happened after that so obviously the road to 1 million community has been winning like crazy over the last couple of months for example here you can see some wins from just 30 minutes ago so obviously the community is doing very well and if you are interested in joining this community you can do it completely for free with the first link in the description of this youtube video that you are watching right now so definitely come check it out and come say hi I look forward to seeing you in the community. So is that it? Is the message basically that we are just going to continue pumping forever? No, I do not think so. There are some warning signals starting to show in the charts right here. Like for example, this bearish divergence, which is typically a pattern that indicates that the bullish momentum is weakening. And what this indicates, besides that we are just getting a break from all the bullish price action, is that most likely, we will either get some choppy sideways price action or potentially some bearish momentum in the short term. And this is just what you typically see with a bearish divergence. For me personally, what I always say in the community is take profits early and often. And if you have been longing this entire move to the upside, it would not be a crazy idea to take at least some profits off of your trade or move your stop loss into profits somewhere. Because if this was any other situation, for me personally, I would take a bearish divergence as a pretty serious warning signal for the bullish momentum here in the short term. But either way, taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map on the 24 hour time frame for right now, you can see that on this big move to the downside, we took out a bunch of liquidity right here. And there is now a lot of liquidity to the upside 
sitting as high as 67.9k so potentially the bitcoin price can get attracted to this and here again you can see that big level of liquidity to the upside however there is also quite a lot of liquidity to the downside as low as 62.2k so this is something to pay attention to. However, if you zoom out to the three month time frame, it is very clear that most of the liquidity is to the upside, sitting as high as 72.3K, which again, potentially the Bitcoin price could get attracted to. And all that liquidity to the downside that I was showing earlier is not even visible on this chart. So that is just something to take into consideration as well. It is important to understand the difference between the different time frames because you can be bullish on a higher time frame but on a shorter time frame be potentially more bearish so again try to understand the difference between those different time frames because it is very relevant so this has been today's market update don't forget to come check out the discord community and actually now that i see this profit card here if you are from the us or in asia I highly recommend you go check out WeX, which is one of the exchanges that I am affiliated with because their platform is very accommodating for leverage traders that are from the US or Asia. So if you are from one of those areas, then definitely go check that out because they have some crazy bonuses, which you can read more about in my video description. So if you register with my link in the description, then you will get access to those nice bonuses as well. So definitely go check out WeX if again you are from the us or from asia either way if you do end up checking it out or not thank you for watching once again and i will see you tomorrow in the next one